Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the Kirchhoff's laws. In the Kirchhoff's laws, today we are going to discuss about the Kirchhoff's second law, that is Kirchhoff's voltage law. In the previous class, we discussed about the Kirchhoff's current law, that is Kirchhoff's first law, and what is the equation, what is the statement of the KCL and verification of KCL we have done in the previous class. Now. Today we will discuss about the Kirchhoff's voltage law, what is the statement and what is the equation we will get and verification of Kirchhoff's voltage law. Whether if you take one circuit, whether the Kirchhoff's voltage law will be verified or not that we will see. Here, if you see the statement, this law is also called as Kirchhoff's second law. It states that the algebraic sum of all the voltages around any closed path or any closed loop is always equal to zero. That is sum of the all the voltage is equal to zero. If we take any loop, all the sum of the all the voltage should be equal to zero. Then only it is called as a valid circuit. If it is not equal to zero, it is not a valid circuit. Okay, for every circuit, KVL and KCL should be satisfied. Then only we can say that it is a valid circuit. Okay, here, if we take one circuit, this circuit consists of there are three voltages, sorry, three resistors connected in series. There is a voltage source, supply voltage source is V. Okay, the voltage across the R1 is V1 and the voltage across R2 is V2 and the voltage across R3 is V3. Okay, now if we apply KVL to the above equation, sorry, above circuit, we will get V is equal to total voltage is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 sum of the individual voltages total voltage is equal to sum of the individual voltages now if we rewrite the equation we will get v minus v1 if we take v1 v2 v3 to the left hand side we will get v minus v1 minus v2 minus v3 is equal to zero that is algebraic sum of all the voltages in a loop is equal to zero Okay, this is the equation of KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, by taking one example circuit and we will verify Kirchhoff's voltage law. Uh, after getting the values, we have to substitute that values in the equation. Whether the KVL is verified or not, that we will see now. Verification of KVL. This is a sample circuit I am taking. This circuit is having the three resistors, having the values 2 ohm, 8 ohm and 5 ohm and 10 volts the voltage across 2 ohm is v1 voltage across v2 uh, voltage across 5 ohm is v2 voltage across 8 ohm is v3 by using the simple ohms law we will find out the voltage across 2 ohm and voltage across 3 ohm and 8 ohm okay to find out v1 v2 v3 we need to find out first total current i because the current passing through the total circuit is same that is i because it is a series circuit as it is a series circuit in series current is same so i is equal to v by r v we know that 10 volts we need to find out the total resistance r okay so i is equal to what is the total voltage here 10 volts total total resistance is r as the all resistors are connected in series 2 ohm 5 ohm 8 ohm 2 plus 5 plus 8 are connected in series so 10 divided by 2 plus 5 plus 8 so if we calculate the above equation, we will get I is equal to 0 0.66 amperes we will get. That is the total current. Now we need to find out the V1 value, V2 value, V3 value. We know the I1 value is equal to 0 0.66. What is the value we got? 0 0.66 amperes. Now we will substitute that value in the formula uh, in this formula what is the ohms law formula V is equal to I into R. So we, we are finding the voltage of the particular across the particular resistor that is V1 is equal to I into R1 and if we substitute that values in the in the above formula we will get V1 is equal to 0 0.66 into T into 2 okay if we calculate it we will get 1.32 volts now V2 is equal to I into R2 okay V2 is equal to I into R2 okay what is R2 value here 5 5 ohms. What is the I value we got? 0 0.66 amperes. If we substitute that value here, V2 is equal to 0 0.66 into 5. So if we calculate the above equation, we will get V2 is equal to 3.3 volts.
So this is the value of the V2. And next V3 is equal to I into R3. Okay, I value we know 0 0.66 amperes. And what is the R3 value? 8 ohms. Now if you substitute that values in the uh, in the above formula, we will get V3 is equal to 0 0.66 into 8. So if we calculate the above equation, we will get V3 is equal to 5.28 volts. So V1 value is 1.32 volts and V2 value is 3.3 volts and V3 is 5.28 volts. Like this, we will calculate V1, V2, V3. Now, uh, by using the uh, KVL statement, what is the KVL statement? Sum of the, uh, the total voltage is equal to sum of the individual voltages. Okay. According to KVL, V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. If we substitute the uh, all the values in this equation, we will get 10 is the total voltage and V1 is equal to 1.32 and V2 is equal to 3.3 and V3 is equal to 5.28. If we calculate the all the values, we will get total current is equal to sum of the all the voltages. Total voltage is 10 volts is equal to sum of the all the voltages is, is also 10 volts. So from this, we can say that for the given circuit, KVL is verified. Hence, we can say that this above circuit is a valid circuit. Okay. Hence, we can say that KVL is verified. Like this, we will ver verify Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay, this is about the verification of Kirchhoff's voltage. Huh? In, the, in the today's class, we have seen what is the KVL statement and the by taking one example circuit, we have verified the Kirchhoff's voltage. Huh? Okay, in the next class, we will discuss about the remaining topics.